Hello, fine fabric specialists, colleagues, upholstery cleaners, carpet cleaners. Um, I, I'm making this video because I want to share with you guys uh, um, an experience I had yesterday with some cleaning. It's a, um, I guess, a normal or experience for some for somebody like myself and what I'd be experiencing in my cleaning business, but. It may not be an average day for um, the average cleaner out there, but I want to share this with my fellow fine fabric specialists and um, guys who clean, who may be occasionally clean upholstery and things to look out for. I did a video this week, um, and I put it on YouTube, um, sharing what to look for with a tag. And be careful with the tags, because the tags can bleed onto the upholstery, right? So it's good to have that knowledge, but Yesterday, um, I cleaned, um, and it wasn't it was just about the tags. I did three um, sex, three um, pro, three things on one job, and I cleaned the sectional. I cleaned the uh, headboard and bed frame that was fabric, and I cleaned two dining room chairs. So for each um, for each cleaning project, I used a different cleaning agent. And my helper was asking me about that, and I was explaining it to him. So I wanted to share that with you guys, what my experience was. So on the headboard, the headboard had um, some organic stains. Uh, it was a Belgian linen, that's what they call it. And um, the sectional actually turned out to be a synthetic. It looked like linen. But it's what they call that performance fabric. It wasn't, I didn't see anything that said it was some umbrella, but I tested it. You know, it, I found some extra pieces under one of the pillows and got a small piece and I tested it. It did test to be synthetic. So my approach to that was a bit different. And I will tell you why. Then the dining room chairs were natural. And believe it or not, I was able to test it. I turned them upside down, and thank goodness the upholsterer had, had extra pieces. He had the, the bottom of the dining room chairs had a black cover that was Velcro over it. So I was able to pull the Velcro back, the, the cover that was Velcroed on back, and there was some extra fabric sitting there. So I was able to snip off a little bit of extra fabric and did a burn test, and it was natural. So with the dining room tables, uh, dining room chairs, the reason why she wanted me to clean it, obviously, because there's a problem. It was a huge water stain that covered the entire seat and on the arms, because the, the, the door had spilt water on it or something like that. And this particular type of um, fabric, um, it watermarks very, very easily. So, um, I, I pre-treated it before we did it. After vacuuming them, of course, I pre-treated it with distilled water. So when I sprayed it with distilled water, um, after about I mean, a few minutes we setting up, I can see that the distilled water was um, dispersing the water stain. Basically, it was spreading it out. It was evening it out, okay? Probably the lignin in it, the sugar, or whatever that, that's, that loves the water, it was moving with it. So I said, oh, I'm getting some results with that. So and then I go to the bedpost, the, 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 the uh, headboard, the headboard has some organic stains, and this is linen. So I pre-treated one of the bad um, organic stains with a 3% before I did anything else. Okay. So as we proceed with the setup, then I'm looking at the sectional. The sectional had um, got the soil level areas on the back and all around the front and in the front of the cushions, of course, where the dog rubs up against it. And she said she's had stainless steel to clean it and never could remove the soil line. So I was like, wow, okay. I said, you know, it should be a good chance. And plus I tested it. It was um, synthetic. So I can use an alkaline uh, upholstery cleaner. But I added um, a citrus to it so we can cut <clears throat> the dog oils, the pet oils out of it. And so so with the, with the sectional, so I use an alkaline pre-spray, boost it with... Um, some citrus, and then with the Belgian linen, I actually use a neutral cleaner, boost it, 
with citrus so I can cut the oils again that's in the linen because it was a, um, a soiled area um, where maybe they were putting the back of the head on it so I tried to test it I did test it with a microfiber towel spray it with um, the cleaner of my choice with the citrus which is a neutral cleaner and I um, hand cleaned it and some soil was coming off but it wasn't coming off um, at the rate that I wanted to. So I, I, I sprayed it down. I sprayed it down directly and I took my horsehair brush and I agitated it. And I did one half of the headboard in the same way. And then I extracted it with my, with my dry tool. And then um, I rinsed it with the dry tool and then I extracted it really, really well. Three or four times, and when I when I take a step back, I can see the difference on that one side versus the other side. So I had to do that to the other side as well, and it came out great. But the main reason why I got the job is because the the organic stain. So the three percent when I first went in for the headboard, the three percent it reduced the stain, and so I was able to proceed with the cleaning, and then I was able to rinse it out completely. So that came out well. And so, but when I went back to the dining room chairs, it, they had started to dry. And believe it or not, the distilled water was starting to, the chair was starting to watermark again, even with the distilled water. So I was like, oh no, I got, so I used a neutral cleaner on the um, headboard. Then I used an end cap on the chairs, okay? So with no citrus boosted in the end cap. So I didn't. I pumped it up my sprayer and I sprayed down wherever the water stain was. I sprayed out all nice and even on the arms, but I didn't do the back. You know, I simply, um, I didn't even spray it. I simply sprayed my towel and wiped the back of the chair and in the back of the uh, of the seat as well. So, but I just wet just the seat part. That's where the kids were eating on. That's where it was the most soiled. And, with, and those two were soiled, but one had that bad water stain. So once I wet it evenly, the water stain evened out. You can still slightly see it, but I uh, agitated it and then um, extracted it really, really good. And, um, and then put a fan on it, right directly on it, uh, on both of them. I used the axle fan on one, and I used one of my small uh, blowers on the other and dried it real quick and it worked. It worked well. It dried well and no water line was able to form because it got to dry pretty quick. So that worked well. So I used the end cap on that because I was concerned maybe something might wig. It was such a thin fabric and I want that end cap to help me with that. So, but the sectional was the original call, was the original job. The other two were added, were add-ons. So I, um, Simply got my alkaline pre-spray for upholstery, added citrus, sprayed those soiled areas and had my helper to um, agitate it with a horsehair brush and I took my dry tool and I just flushed, I just flushed it and it came out. We had to do it all even though. So it came out all even. So where so we had to I had to spray like the back of it down all even from top to bottom. And then the cushions only did only pre-sprayed one side. And that was the heavily soiled side and the edges where the dog was rubbing and so I sprayed it down all nice and even we agitated it and then I rinsed it and I extracted it and the areas that were tougher I just rinsed it um, over and over and over again very heavily I washed it well I like to say washed it and it came out very well and I, of course we put the, the cushions on the drying station and then we did the frame but as we was cleaning one of the cushions a black mark came up about an inch wide I mean immediately and I knew exactly what it was and when it came up I knew it was ink I unzipped the cushion stuck my hand in there where the ink was and pulled that uh, tag out immediately and this snapped right off and then I had to get some solvent and rinse and rinse and rinse the ink stain out of that fabric and then um, any other tags that came, that I was able to see through the fabric when we wet it, I, re I would reach in and pull them out. 
because I didn't want that to happen again. So I, I, I'm not afraid to remove the tag because I don't want it, the customer to spill anything on it and the ink comes through and then I don't want to uh, cause a problem with the fabric. I'm just glad I was, um, had an experience this week just to remind me of tags can be an issue and you definitely want to address that issue and be able to solve it. So that was my experience yesterday. Job came out well, client uh, was ecstatic. Uh, it was a new client and it was a referral from a really good client. So just want to share that experience with you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, you can hit me up on Facebook or 404-914-3103. Thanks guys.